Hey everybody, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through the very first um, practices for inside of the low code balance uh, exercise that uh, Pega has on their site. If you recall, um, I'm trying to go through both the low code and the low code builder extender for my next video series. So this is uh, basically exercise number one, uh, balance transfer case life cycle. Okay, so first things first, I got to log in with the credentials. Now the description says, design the balance transfer case lifecycle to reflect the process that U plus customers use to transfer balances to a U plus branded credit card. The lifecycle should contain the following stages. The stages are create approval, fulfillment, approval, rejection. The process is submit request, approve transfer, fulfill request, and reject request. Uh, the steps are create offer, select offer, identify transfers, review transfers, approve transfer, send confirmation, identify a reason for rejection, and re send a rejection email, and so forth. We also have steps. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to switch to Dev Studio, and our case type would be balance transfer. Here we go. Okay, so we have submit request, then we have steps that we need to have. So we need a collect information step for create, that's already done for us. We need a, a collect information step for select offer, that's next. The next step will also be collect information step, and that is identify transfers. Oh, I can't second. Uh, and then the last step would be also collect information and it's a review transfers. Great. Okay, so we've just created the first step, uh, the first stage, sorry. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next stage and that is process. We're going to have the, oh, no, I'm sorry, this is approval. We're going to have a uh, approve reject step. This would be an approve reject step. It's going to be called approve transfer. This process is also going to be called approve transfer. Okay, we move on to the next stage. That would be fulfillment. Notice how we automatically created the approval rejection down here. We'll get to it at the very end. Um, this would be reject. Oh, the stage is called approval. No, this is not approval rejection. Sorry about that. This is fulfillment. Fulfillment. And then our step is going to be called identify, no, send confirmation. That would be a send email step. So we got to go to the automations, send email. This would be called send email would be send confirmation. All right, so we have the three stages. Now we need to go and um, work on our approval rejection stage. So this one will be called approval rejection. The process is reject request, and we've got two steps in here. The first one is a collect information step called identify reason. The next one is a send email step so we go to the automations select send email that would be called send rejection email and my process is called a 
exactly. So we've got create with all four of my steps. I've got approval with approved transfer. Then I've got fulfillment. The process is called fulfill request. The step is send confirmation. It's a send email step. Now my alternate action, right, would be approval rejection, reject request with two steps. One for identifying the reason, that's a collect information step, and then another one for sending an email. So now we save this. Okay, now um, notice how we don't have anywhere to put the channels or personas. The instructions are to do this in App Studio. I only did it in dev because it was a personal preference, but it can be done the same way in both and in dev and app studio. So let's go to case types. And now let's work on adding our personas, okay. right? So here we do have the personas and channels. So our first persona would be under the create step stage would be CSR. We've already got that in there. Under user portal. We'd like to select the MLP one. Okay. And we're also gonna add another persona. This is customer. Now we don't have customers, so we add a new persona. And for this persona, we're gonna have two channels. This would be not a user portal, but a user mobile app. So we're gonna put that there. And we're also gonna add user digital messenger. Nice, there it is. Now we can go back and get rid of user portal, which was the default. For user mobile app and both both user mobile app and user digital messenger, we're gonna use the, uh, select the MLP2 release. So we update that one as well, MLP2. Uh, and we move on to the approval stage. Here, we're gonna use the CSR again. We're gonna leave user portal and we're gonna select MLP1 as our release. We move on to fulfillment. Oh, we got nothing. Um, and then we move, we've got no persona to create there. Then we move to the approval of rejection and we've got a CSR. Their channel would be user portal and it's gonna be in release one. Great. Okay, so now we move on and our instructions are to continue the life cycle and create the following data, data objects, system of records and releases. Okay, so under stage create, we're going to create a data object called account and another one called transfer offers. So let's go ahead and start that. We're in the create stage. We scroll down, we create a data object, new data object. It would be called account. Okay, so we're gonna to go to data, data object. Uh, notice how there's already a count. That may or may not be the case for you. If it's not the case, um, then you go ahead and create it. But since I already have it, I'll get an error. And uh, so I'll go ahead and just select account. So account, we're gonna click on here. We have PEGA as a system and MLP1, nice. 
for this same stage, we need to create another data object called transfer offers. Now I don't have it there, so that one I do have to create. Again, the system is PEGA and the release would be MLP1. All right, so we're done with that portion. We move on. It says configure the case type to change the status of the case at each stage. Okay, so now we're moving on to stage statuses. So in submit request or in the create stage. Okay, so we're gonna set the case status upon entry. The status will be open. Now I'm pretty sure that this is a default out of the box. Yep, it's there. Uh, for the approval process. The stage will be pending approval. That might still be there as a default. Yep, pending approval. And fulfillment is probably also going to be there. Um, this would be pending fulfillment and resolve a case, which will give us the result completed status. Now we move down to the approval rejection. And that will have this case status of. Now, if you notice that instructions do not say a case status on entry, it only says a resolution status. That means that this will stay blank, but this one will change to resolve rejected. All right, let's save that too. Okay, so we are moving on to the very last portion of the first um, assignment, right, in this low code builder. It says, um, configure routing to the account manager CSR work queue for the approval transfer step. Configure the service level agreement for the approval steps. And you can see the instructions as I post them in the video when I edit. <laughs> Goal is one hour, interval, urgency 20. Deadline is two hours, um, urgency 40. And then notify assignee for both. So we're gonna go to the approval transfer step, not stage, not process, step. So we go to the approval transfer process, I mean, a step, and we go to goal and deadline, custom SLA, so here we go. The goal, we're going to remove this one. We're going to put zero. Now, this is where you kind of have to modify what uh, Pega is giving you simply because if you want to keep working, you don't want to work where it, you don't want to wait an hour or two hours to check if your work um, actually meets the requirement or not. Instead, you could do something like five minutes for the first one and then 10 minutes on the second one. And that way, when you're testing it, um, you can quickly see the change, right? So we do this, I'm gonna change instead of one hour, I'm gonna put 10 minutes. The urgency is supposed to be 20, so we will not mess with that. Notify assignee, right? And then deadline. Again, we eliminate this, here we put it right here, 10 minutes. Let's do five on this one. And deadline will do 10 minutes. That way we can move on. Now, by the deadline, the urgency increases to 40, or it's at it 40. And we're going to notify the assignee. Great. We save. Now, at this point, we should be done with all of the steps in the first video or the first assignment in the low code app builder. This would be the number one. It's got the little you know, pink circle or burgundy color circle with a little one on it. That's what we're doing, the balance transfer case life cycle. Exercise one. Okay, so now we go in. Okay, so now we go ahead and run. We run this. And 
you can tell that we're in the pending approval process or approval stage. Um, and that's really great. You're already checking that the statuses are being updated the way that they should. If you notice, we have this due 10 minutes from now. Um, if you approve, okay, the case status has been updated to resolve complete. Now let's go back and check uh, if the rejection status is updated. Again, we're in pending approval, but this time we select reject. And here we go. And again, like you saw that um, the due time changes and it's displayed for the user. Okay, so that was it. And uh, join me for the next exercise, which is US-002 acceptance criteria. Thanks.